Good evening, everybody. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Yes. Good evening. Okay. Yes. Great. Good, Good to see you once again. All right. Let's begin. Just uh, let's go with this, and I'm going to share the screen with you. Okay. There it is. And now I'm going to call the attendance. Um, solo me regalan un instante acá. Just a moment. Okay, um, the attendance. When you hear your name, please let me know you're here. Braulio Heriberto Velasquez Mejia. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Cesar Alejandro Aparicio Mendoza. Present, teacher. Thank you. Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tobal. Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tobar. Doribel Arelia Reaza Flores. Doribel Arelí Arreaza Flores. Elí Antonio Sandoval Colindres. Elí Antonio Sandoval Colindres. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Herbert Adán Miranda. Present. Thank you. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Rebecca Cermeño López. Present teacher. Thank you. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Okay. Uh, Jesús Eduardo Escobar Carranza. Present. Thank you. Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Jasmine Guatemala Arias. Present teacher. Thank you. Laura Concepción Mena Garay. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Present. Thank you. Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Marina Esmeralda Pre Martínez Ramos. Marina Esmeralda Martínez Ramos. Ok, thank you. Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Present teacher. 
Thank you. Rebecca Abigail Calderón Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. Ruth Marielo Samaya de Guardado. Here, teacher. Thank you. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. Buen día, teacher. Thank you. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Present, present. Thank you. Wendy Lisette Carías de Cedillos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ok, voy a llamar nuevamente a quienes no me han contestado. Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tobar. Present, teacher. Hello. Doribel Are... Hello, thank you. Doribel Arelí Arreaza Flores. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you. Isabel Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Isabel Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. Aquí se me reportan algunos en el chat. Ya está tomada su asistencia. Thank you. OK. All right, everybody, let's continue. This is English Pre Intermedio Modulo 3. Okay, this is me, Ivan Doñang, at your service. This is session number 10. And today is June the 6th of 2023. Let's begin. First, we're going to have a review. Vamos a tener un repaso. Okay, por aquí da Marisa manda un aviso. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, review. Okay, the grammar focus, comparative comparisons with adjectives. Remember, right, he says uh, older, heavier, and more expensive are comparative forms. The comparative is ER, like in older or more, as in more expensive. So uh, you have the rules right here. The rules are one syllable adjective, you add ER. For example, old becomes older, slow becomes slower, and nice becomes nicer, okay? So these are one syllable adjectives. They only have one syllable. So you say old, one syllable, slow, one syllable, nice, one syllable. So you add ER, older, slower, nicer. Now, when you have a one syllable adjective that ends in consonant, vowel, and consonant, except W, you add an extra consonant in ER. For example, you have big, Big has one syllable and it ends in consonant, vowel, consonant. So you have to use double G, bigger. Hot, hot is a one syllable adjective and it ends in H-O-T, which is consonant, vowel, consonant. So you say hotter with a double T. And then you have thin. Thin is a one syllable adjective that ends in consonant, vowel, and consonant, H I N. So you have to duplicate the final consonant and then you have thinner, double N. Now, what happens with two or more syllable adjectives? When you have two syllable adjectives ending in Y, you have to change Y for I E R. For example, easy, easy, two syllables, easy, okay? And it ends in Y, so it changes to I-E-R, easier. Heavy, heavy, two syllables, heavy. And it ends in Y, so you have to change Y for I-E-R, heavier. And then you have early, early, two syllables, early, okay? It ends in Y, so you change Y for I-E-R, earlier. And finally, when you have, you use more for adjectives with two, three, four, five syllables. Examples, careful, careful, two syllables, more careful, expensive, three syllables, more expensive, intelligent, 
four syllables, more intelligent, interesting, interesting, four syllables. So you say more interesting. Examples include, this jacket is okay, but I think the other one is nicer. Helen wants to, ba to buy a bigger car. Susan doesn't like her job. She wants to do something more interesting. Sorry. And you should be more careful when you drive. Now, some special cases include the regular adjectives like good. The comparative form is better, not gooder. No existe gooder, no lo ocupen. Okay, the comparative form is better. Bad, the comparative form is worse. Examples, the weather wasn't very good yesterday, uh, but it's better today. Do you feel better today? Say, no, I feel worse. Me siento peor. Also, you have the adjective far, who has two possible comparative forms. You have farther, which means it's for distance. You say, we're almost at the beach, just drive a little farther. And then you have further, which, is, which means additional. We need further examples. We need more examples. We need additional, additional, sorry, examples. And there are some exceptions like the adjective fun, whose comparative form is more fun. The adjective real, the comparative form is more real. The, the adjective bored, the comparative form is more bored. As in, I love the book, but the movie adaptation was more fun. Virtual reality makes video games more real. Yesterday she was bored, today she, she's even more bored, and so on. Now we did these exercises, we're not going to do them again because uh, we completed them. So we also did this. This is the last exercise we completed yesterday. Now we're going to do a little bit more. Comparatives with then, okay? Now look, you can also use a comparative with then and what is that you say for example she's saying right here i'm going to zoom in she's a mean girl she says i am taller than you i'm taller than you okay and then you have the hotel well sorry you say she's taller than him okay she is taller than him and then you have hotel prices per person per night. Capital Hotel, $350. Grand Hotel, $110. Western Hotel, that's $195. So you say the Capital Hotel is more expensive than the Grand. See, the Capital Hotel is $350. The Grand Hotel is $110. So the Capital Hotel is more expensive than the Grand. So we can use then after comparatives. You say older than, more expensive than, etc. Example, Athens is older than Rome. Atenas is más vieja que Roma. Athens is older than Rome. You can say, are oranges more expensive than bananas? Are oranges more expensive than bananas? How are you today? You say, not bad, better than yesterday, mejor que ayer, better than yesterday. So you use then after comparatives. In Spanish, you say, que, mejor que, más caro que, más fácil que, okay, más barato que. So, sorry, okay. So uh, you say older than, more expensive than, better than. Do you understand the use of then? Hello? <laughs> Do you understand the use of then? Yeah, yeah. Just. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Ah, and there's another one. The, the restaurant is more crowded than usual. Faltaba un ejemplo. Se lo voy a pasar otra vez. Okay. The restaurant is more crowded than usual. Estamos lleno de lo usual. Okay, that's, uh, those are the exercises or, and the explanation we have for comparative forms. But now we need to study the superlative form, okay? 
The superlative is not difficult. The superlative is actually pretty easy. And we're going to study that right now. Just let me get comfortable in my chair. So it's a little uncomfortable now, okay? All right, superlatives. This is a different story. Now look, you have four cubes right here. There is cube A, cube B, cube D, and cube C, okay? So look, Q or boxes. So box A, as you can see, is bigger than box B. Estamos todos de acuerdo, ¿verdad? Box A is bigger than box B. Okay. Pero si nos fijamos, esa caja es más grande que todas las otras cajas. So you say box A is bigger than all the other boxes. That's why we can now use a superlative form and the superlative is here. Box A is the biggest box. Es la caja más grande de todas. Okay, box A is the biggest box. That is a superlative. Bigger, I'm going to zoom in. Bigger than comparative. Bigger than comparative. The biggest superlative. Now take a look. Hotel prices in Kingtown per room per night. The Europa Hotel, 140 pounds. Grand Hotel, 125. Royal, 120. Astoria, 115. Palace, 110. Grosvenor, 100. Bennett's, 90, 90 pounds. Carton, 85 pounds. Star, 75 pounds. And Station, 75 pounds. This is the price. So the Europa Hotel is more expensive than the Grand. You see, the Europa Hotel is more expensive than the Grand. The Europa Hotel is 140 pounds. And the Grand Hotel is 125 pounds. Pero si nos fijamos, es más caro que todos los demás. The Europa Hotel is more expensive than all the other hotels in the city. Wendy has a visitor. <laughs> okay. Is that your son, Wendy? Yes, teacher. It's my okay. son. Okay. Does he speak English? Uh, learning teacher. Sorry? Learning. Ah, he's learning. Okay, good. So, uh, so you can say the Europa Hotel is the most expensive hotel in the city. This is the superlative. Es el más caro de la ciudad. That means this is number one. Now look, more expensive, comparative form. The most expensive, superlative form. Now, bigger, older, more expensive, etc., are comparative forms. The biggest, the oldest, the most expensive, etc., are superlative forms. Cuando ocupamos el superlative, cuando estamos hablando del número uno, el que supera a todos los demás. Dependiendo de qué le estemos atribuyendo, el número uno de todos. Por ejemplo, aquí vemos las cuatro cajas. ¿Cuál es la más grande de todas? Hey, ese es superlative. De los hoteles, ¿cuál es el más caro de todos? El Europa. Entonces, the Europa Hotel is the most expensive hotel. Así. Es el hotel más caro de todos los que estamos viendo. Superlative form. I'm going to share this with you. Via WhatsApp. Okay. Give me a moment, please. Okay, so let's continue now. What are the spelling rules, okay? Superlatives. You will see that the rules are very similar to the comparatives. If you know the rules for comparatives, then learning the rules for superlatives is very easy. Now, 
Solo la terminación cambia. One syllable adjectives. With one syllable adjectives, you have to use the plus the adjective and EST. Examples. Old becomes the oldest. Slow becomes the slowest. Sorry, there's a mistake here. Okay. Slow becomes the slowest. And nice becomes the nicest. Okay. The oldest, el más viejo. The slowest, el más lento, la más lenta. Los más lentos, las más lentas. The nicest, el más bonito, la más bonita. Los más bonitos, la más bonita. So the nicest. So that's for one syllable adjectives. You can see old, slow, and nice have all one syllable. So you add the before the adjective, and then you finish with EST. That's the rule. Now, what about this one? When you have one syllable adjectives that end in consonant, vowel, and consonant, except W, you have to use the plus the adjective plus an extra consonant and then EST. Las reglas son muy parecidas a las de los comparatives. For example, you have big. Big is a one syllable adjective ending in consonant. I'm going to zoom in. Consonant, vowel, and consonant. So you say the biggest, like the hamburgers. If you remember the hamburgers, biggest. So the biggest, double G. Hot is another one syllable adjective that ends in consonant, vowel, and consonant. That's why you say the hottest, double T. Thing is a one syllable adjective that ends in consonant, vowel, and consonant. That's why you say the thinnest, double N. Now, two syllable adjectives, two or more syllable adjectives. For two syllable adjectives ending in Y, you change Y for I E S T. So easy, two syllables and it ends in Y becomes the easiest. Okay? The easiest. El más fácil o la más fácil. Sorry. Heavy, it's a two syllable adjective. Heavy, right? Ends in Y, so you change Y for I E S T. So you have the heaviest. Okay? The heaviest. And then you have early. Early, again, is a two syllable adjective that ends in Y, so you change Y for I E S T, and you say the earliest. Okay? Finally, you have to use the most for adjectives with two or more syllables. Y vamos a usar lo mismo de la vez anterior. You have careful, two syllables. Careful. You say the most careful. Expensive, three syllables. Expensive. So you say the most expensive. Intelligent, four syllables. Intelligent. So you say the most intelligent. Interesting, interesting, four syllables. So you say the most interesting. Do you understand the rules? Prácticamente solo son variaciones a las reglas de los comparatives. Lo único que ahora terminan en EST, ¿verdad? Para los que tienen una sílaba y los que tienen dos que terminan en Y, Y hay que ponerle da al principio. Y si tiene más de dos, dos o más sílabas, hay que decir the most. Y ya tú. Do you understand the rules? Do you have any questions about the rules? The spelling rules? ¿Tienen alguna duda, consulta? It's complicated, teacher. Complicated? No, yeah. it's not complicated. We need practice. That's all. Aha. Uh -huh. la práctica, nada más. Eso es todo. But the question is, do you understand? Porque una cuestión es que entendamos y otra que la, la sepamos utilizar correctamente. A veces puede que entendamos las reglas, pero aún nos cuesta utilizarlo por falta de práctica. 
Okay. So the question is, do you understand the rules? Yes. 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 Okay. So so. So so. Who said hi? So so. Yes. So, so. Okay. ¿Qué parte es la que es? Aprendérselas. O sea, aprenderse la conjugación. No es la conjugación porque no son verbos, sino que eh, las reglas de deletreo. Ajá. Ok. Eh, Luis Fernando. Um, well, I think uh, I have a. Tengo una duda, perdón, en español. Um, I have a question. Yeah, yeah, I have a question. No, it's not a question. It's, uh, I. We need a tip for learning this um, rule and practice it day to day because only, I mean, it's for rule. Um, in that case, I think it's um, very complicated. Uh, remember the four. Mm -hmm. Okay, then what we can do is we need some practice. Okay. But if you notice, again, these rules are only variations to the rules for comparatives. ¿Verdad? Son los mismos casos. Solamente lo que varía es el deletreo. Pero los casos son iguales. Son los mismos cuatro casos. But yeah, I understand the, the idea. But yeah, you need to memorize the rules. We have uh, the chat entry. Isabel is reporting that she's here. So... Let's say Isabo, Isabo. Okay, ya está. Ya le tomamos su asistencia. All right. You have some examples right here. The church is very old. It's the oldest building in the city. Es el edificio o la construcción más vieja de la ciudad. Ninguna le gana. Ninguna estuvo antes que la iglesia. Okay, so it's the oldest building in the city. Saúl Alexander. My question is, teacher, if there is an, another words of this with, for example, this with, with uh, one vowel. One vowel. He sounds, he, he, he pronounces with an E. Uh, how, how do I say? If it exists another or oh, one singular in, in, in to, to, to sound different than this. What we, we want one vowel, no. Of I am afraid I don't understand the question. Sorry. Oh. You can say in Spanish, oh. no problem. All right. Si hay alguno de estos, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Palabras aquí como ejemplo, big y hard, que solo llevan una vocal en inglés, que se pronuncian este, diferente, porque yo creo que solamente eso es lo que no se entendería ahí, pues. De allí todas, o sea, llevan eh, el, el, lo que se le agrega aquí, el, la, la doble. Esa consonant y el EST. Se refiere a esta regla sí. en específico. Si sí, existe alguno que no, que, que, que sea diferente. Una excepción a esta regla. Sí, ajá, que, que o las sea, que, alguno las, de estos. Las, las palabras que terminan en W. Es decir, los adjectives que terminan en W. Ajá, vaya, por, por ejemplo, ajá, por ejemplo, si Slow. Eso. Aquí está, <ríe> aquí arribita. Slow. Uh -huh. Slow es, una, es un adjective de una sílaba que termina en consonant, vowel, consonant. Pero, okay. eso, eso como, la excepción, tiene como la excepción es W, entonces no le va, no va a poner una doble, una, una segunda W, digamos. Aquí sí no, ¿verdad? Porque W es la, es la excepción. Ajá. Aquí está okay. un slow. No sé okay. si esa era su duda. Estoy todavía un poquito. Sí, complicado. algo así, algo así, teacher. Le agradezco. Ok, ok. okay. All right. So the church is very old. Ok, Braulio. 
Eh, teacher, fíjese que mi pregunta es esta, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. este, yo lo relaciono porque prácticamente como que, como que las reglas son similares, pero son lo que lo, cambia son es... los mismos casos. Ajá, Ajá por eso, ¿verdad? eso sí, sí lo comprendo. ¿verdad? Pero, vaya, yo, yo entiendo que esto se utiliza como, eh, como formas comparativas, ¿verdad? El anterior era comparativo. Sí. De hecho, el superlativo es una forma comparativa nada más que nos sirve para expresar el que les gana a todos, ¿verdad? El número uno, en lo que sea, el más grande de todos, el más pequeño de todos, el más caro de todos, el más barato de todos. Es decir, the number one. Ah, ok, ok. Ajá. Entonces, esa, esa, ajá, esa era mi duda porque, o sea, este... Yo siento como que fuera, eh, como, como que fuera igual, como que se escucha un poco re, repetitivo. Ok, aquí está, la, Ajá, aquí está la, 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 la clave para distinguirlos. Ok, si gustan copien esto, igual, queda, se los puedo, lo puedo pasar. Use comparative forms when you are comparing two things or two people. You use comparative forms when you're comparing two things or two people. For example, I say, this car is better than, or you say, sorry, instead of this car, my car is better than yours. Mi carro es mejor que el tuyo. You are comparing, Two cars. Okay. You can say, for example, let me go back because I've, oh no, give me a second. It's here. Um, over here, you can say, for example, uh, this jacket is okay, but I think the other one is nicer, okay, nicer is comparative. That means you are comparing two jackets, okay? Voy a poner aquí separado. So you use comparative forms when you're comparing two things or two people. My car is better than yours, you're comparing two cars. This jacket is okay, but I think the other one is nicer. You're comparing, comparing, sorry, two jackets. But what about the superlatives? Okay, scroll down. Use superlative forms when you are comparing three or more people or things, okay? You use the superlative forms when you're comparing three or more people or things. You say, for example, por uh, darles un ejemplo, <laughs> no es de mi agrado, pero lo voy a poner acá. Bad Bunny so, is the most famous singer Right now, but ahí está. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Luz Clara? I don't think so, teacher. You don't think so, uh -huh. No, I, I didn't say he's the best. I said he's the most famous, <laughs> okay? So yeah. The que el más famoso, el más famoso ahorita. Okay, so, well, probably not famous. Let's say the most popular. Okay, por lo pronto. Okay, so he's the most popular. De todos los cantantes que hay ahorita, es el más popular de todos. Okay, so, estamos, no estamos comparando dos cantantes, estamos comparando a todos los cantantes de ahorita. Okay, that's the difference. Okay, so, just to give you an idea. So uh, that's the difference between comparative and superlative, okay? 
Ajá, sí, sí, teacher. Así sí. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, so I'm going to add it here. You are comparing, say, Bad Bunny, say, with all singers in the world. Okay. Or maybe not Bad Bunny. You're simply, you are comparing all singers in the world, basically. Eso sería más acertado. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, let's continue. So you say the church is very old. It's the oldest building in the city. That means in this city, there are other old buildings, but this is the oldest. Este es el más viejo de todos. We have a chat entry. Freddie Mercury. <laughs> Freddie Mercury is much better. I, I agree. Okay, Ruth <laughs> Marielis. Okay. Okay, okay. Por ahí ya son gustos, no, no puedo hablar. <laughs> Cada quien le gusta lo que le gusta. Okay, what is the longest river in the world? What is the longest river in the world? Okay. So, by the way, who knows the answer? What is the longest river in the world? ¿Cuál es el río más largo del mundo? Saúl. I think it's the Amazonas. In no. Mm, sorry, but no. <laughs> it's not the Amazon. <laughs> Claudia Maria. Claudia Maria. Mississippi, teacher. The Mississippi. No, sorry. It's not the Mississippi. Jaime? I don't know, teacher. You guys are Amazonas know. también. Okay, no, sorry. Ruth? El Rio Nilo. The Nile, correct. Okay, it's the Nile River. Mm -hmm. That's the Nile. Okay, good. Okay. So, uh, Saul, sorry. Yes. No. Bien, la manita levantada. No. Ah, le quedó levantada. Le había quedado levantada. Okay, so you say money is important. But it isn't the most important thing in life. Okay? El dinero es importante, pero no es lo más importante. Ya me están manchando la pantalla. No me están manchando la pantalla, por favor. <laughs> Estén de travieso. Voy a borrar. Quieren dibujar el río, teacher. Quieren dibujar el río, Neil. Okay. So money is important, but it isn't the most important thing in life. Okay? And you can say, excuse me. Where is the nearest bank? ¿Dónde está el banco más cercano? De todos los bancos que están, ¿cuál es el que está más cerca? So, excuse me, where is the nearest bank? Those are the superlatives right there. So, what are we going to do? Exers. Ah, oh, no, sorry. First, you have, well, I'm going to share this with you, by the way, so you can have the rules. Um... Where's the WhatsApp chat? Okay, right here. Okay. All right, so um, I just sent it to you via WhatsApp. You have it there. So irregular, uh, special cases, irregular adjectives, good. The superlative of good is the best. Ah, sorry, Braulio, do you have a question? Uh, teacher, uh, yes. lo, no sé si puede también enviar la explicación al, al WhatsApp. Hey, yo la noté, pero es que también es más fácil andarlo en el celular. Okay, cool. Please, teacher. All right, just a moment. Uh, I'm going to change some information. Okay, just a moment. Just a moment, just a moment. Okay. Ahorita lo mando. Ok. 
All right, so uh, irregular adjectives. Okay, the, the, the superlative form of good is the best. El mejor, la mejor, los mejores o las mejores, the best. The superlative of bad is the worst. You say Mike is a good player, but he isn't the best in the team, on the team. Okay, buen jugador, pero no es el mejor del equipo. Okay, Mike is a good player, but he isn't the best on the team. That time I was in hospital was the worst week of my life. Okay, you have that, the worst, la peor de todas. So that time I was in hospital was the worst week of my life. Now look, the superlative of far is the farthest, the farthest, that's distance. So you say, this is the farthest I have ever been from home. Esto es lo más lejos que han dado de mi casa. The farthest. Now look, the oldest and the eldest. Okay, this is another thing that you have to take into consideration. The superlative of old is the oldest. For example, that church is the oldest building in the town. Okay, we know this. But we can also use the eldest only when we talk about people in a family. Okay, when you're talking about people in a family, you can use the eldest, but you can also use the oldest. Okay, no problem. You can choose. Okay, so see, si usted está hablando de gente en una familia, puede ocupar the eldest, pero solo en esa circunstancia. Pero si no quiere, también puede decir the oldest. For example, their eldest son is 13 years old. So, su hijo mayor, o sea, el mayor de todos, en el caso que Tenga dos, más de dos hijos. The eldest son is 13 years old. Or you can say their oldest son. And it's also okay. Are you the eldest in your family? Or are you the oldest in your family? Okay. So, um, for example, in my case, I have two brothers. But I am not the eldest. Okay. Let me write it here. You say, I say, for example, I have two brothers. I am not the eldest. Okay, no soy el mayor de los tres, ¿verdad? You can say, I am the one in the middle. What's the meaning of in the middle? What's the meaning? ¿Qué significará eso? I'm the one in the middle. Mediano. Soy el del, soy el del medio, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Hay un show que bien chistoso. Malcolm in the middle. Okay, so the middle. So you can say, uh, for example, I say Ernesto is the old, is the eldest, es el mayor. Okay, or I can say the oldest. You say, I am in the middle. Eduardo is the youngest. Es el más joven. Como aquí estamos comparando a tres personas, puedo ocupar superlatives. Si solo fuéramos dos, no se podría ocupar superlatives. Si digamos solo tuviera un hermano, yo diría uh, simplemente I am older than my brother. O si yo fuera el menor, yo diría I am younger, comparatives, than my brother. Ok. Aquí vemos la diferencia. Si solamente está comparando dos, entonces va a ocupar comparatives. Ahora, si ya está comparando tres o más, ya puede utilizar los superlatives para indicar el de mayor grado o el de menor grado. So, here we go. Exercise time. Okay, you wanted some practice? We're going to do some practice. We're going to have some practice, sorry. So, write sentences with comparatives, like older, etc., and superlatives, like the oldest, etc. Now, here's an example. Look. You have the cubes or the boxes A, B, C, and D. So you have to use, look, big and small. Those are the adjectives that you need for this. Example, you have 
A and D. You need to compare them because you are comparing two things. You have to use a comparative form. You say A is bigger than D. Look, A is bigger than D. Now, A. A is the biggest. Es el más grande de todos. B is the smallest. B es el más pequeño de todos. Now you use superlatives. Okay? So what are we going to do? The second one. Who can tell me? Me tiene que decir las tres oraciones. Luis Fernando. You have to use the adjectives long and short. And then Ruth and then Saul. Okay? So Luis uh, Fernando. Okay. Um, I think in the second is D um, um, is longer than A. C is longer than A, correct. Uh huh. And then? Okay. Um, D is the longest. D is the longest. And? And B is the short. No. B is the? Um, ah, I forget him that the super short. Uh, easy, easy. El mismo caso que long. Uh, yeah, D is? Shooters. The shortest, okay. Shortest. B is the shortest. Mm -hmm. Correct. That's a, that's exactly how you do it. B is the shortest. So you can see it here. Okay. C is longer than A. Now D is the longest. B is the shortest. Longer. Okay. So uh, Ruth Barielos. The next one. A okay. says I'm 23, B says I'm 19, C says I'm 24, and D says I'm 21. You have to use the adjectives young and old. Let's begin. Okay, I'll try. Um, D is... Una pausa. Uh -huh. No me yes. estén no está, no está manchando las diapositivas, por favor. Un travieso, hombre. <laughs> okay, okay D, please. D is uh, young than C. Okay, you need to use the comparative. D is young. Young than is, C. Es, es el adjetivo en su forma base. Youngest. Youngest is el super. Younger. Uh -huh. Young. So that again, okay, C. again. Okay, again, again, please. D? D is younger than C. Yes, D is younger than C. Young, uh, se me fue mal ahí. Younger. Sorry. I think it's the... Okay, sorry. You have D is younger than C. Okay, good. What about uh, C? C is the middle. Mm, no, look, C says I'm 24, D, I'm 21, A, I'm 23, and B, I'm 19. Entonces, no son hermanos ni hermanas estas. Mm -hmm. Ajá, entonces, ¿cómo sería? C is... Remember that you need to use the adjectives young and old. Okay, um, D, uh... C is all. Okay, but you need to use a superlative form para indicar que ella es la mayor de todas. Okay, um, C is oldest. C is the, uh, the oldest, okay? Oldest. The, the superlative needs the. You always need the. C is okay. the oldest. And B is... Uh, Youngest. B is the youngest. Okay. B ¿Sí? is the youngest. Pero cuidado, tenemos que ocupar the ¿Sí? antes del superlative. Antes del okay. comparative no se ocupa, pero antes del superlative sí. Okay. Uh, um, Thank you. Quería ver. You're welcome. Doribel está por acá. Vamos a tomar su asistencia. Okay. Thank you. Wendy, and then Marina. Okay, Wendy, uh, expensive and cheap. Okay. 
D is more expensive than A. D is more expensive than A, comparative. Okay. What about C? C is uh, more expensive. Mm -mm. More expensive is, is, is a comparative form. You need to use a superlative form. Mm. Is more expensive. Mm, more expensive is a comparative form. You need to use a superlative form. Mm. Is expensive? Mm, not exactly. <laughs> okay. No, thank you, Wendy. Thank you for participating. Okay, Marina. You will continue, please. Most expensive. Okay, C is the most expensive. Okay, C is the most expensive. Okay, and A? A is the most cheaper. Mm -mm. Sorry. Cheap is a one syllable adjective. ¿Por qué? Porque cheap solo tiene una sílaba. Teacher, no me vaya a regañar, pero yo le veo dos. No, solo es una. Ah, eh, okay. Por lo general, la, la forma en que pronunciamos o la forma en que se dice la palabra es la que dicta el número de sílabas que tiene. Puede parecer que tiene dos, pero decimos cheap. Ajá. Cheap. Una sílaba. Ah, ok. Cheap. So. A is cheaper. Ok, remember that you need to use the for the superlative. Ah. Uh -huh. A is more cheaper than O. No, no, sé, teacher. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, Saul Alexander is going to help us. Okay, thank you, Marina. Thanks for your participation. A is cheapest than. Okay. Um... All right, all right. Um, vaya, cuidado. Veo que se nos está olvidando en general. Se nos está olvidando algo bien clave. Los superlatives siempre llevan da. Siempre. Da, yeah, ya, yeah, the Me cheapest. Da. Ajá. So sería A the is cheapest. the cheapest. The cheapest. A es el más barato de todos los que están ahí. Ok, da. Si ustedes se fijan, los superlatives, the biggest, the smallest, the longest, the shortest, the, the oldest, the youngest, the most expensive, the cheapest. Todos tienen algo en común, todas llevan da. Mientras que el comparative no, no lo lleva. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay, uh, Saul, do you want to uh, answer the last one? Good and bad. You have the restaurants. Restaurant I A is to. is restaurant A is excellent. Restaurant yeah. B is um, not bad. Okay. Yeah. Restaurant C is good, but not wonderful. And restaurant D is awful, Ugh, terrible. So what about this? You have to use good and bad. Be careful because these are irregular adjectives. Okay, restaurant, the restaurant A, A mm -hmm. is, is good this. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, it's the, it's good, excellent. Okay, first, first, look. Um, estos son los reviews, así es como los han clasificado o calificado. Restaurant A, excellent. Restaurant B, not bad. Restaurant C is good, but not wonderful. And restaurant D is awful. But the adjectives okay, that okay. you need to use are good and bad. First, you are comparing A and C. You are comparing two things. So you need a comparative form. Okay. So. Restaurant A is 
good. Mm -mm. This restaurant A is bad. The C it's C is excellent. It's mm. most is no, sorry. Remember, remember, oh. you need to use the adjectives good and bad. Good and bad only. Okay, only those. Let's see, Braulio is going to help us. But thank you, Saul. Let's see. Okay, Braulio, Braulio can help us now. Um, teacher, is A is best than C? Best is a superlative form. But you, if you notice, mm. you're comparing A and C. You're comparing two things. So you need to use a comparative form. Uh, Let's see. Is the best? Mm, not well. Yes, but not in this sentence. Juan Carlos uh, is going to help us. Okay. Let's see. We're going to give Juan Carlos <laughs> an opportunity. But thank you. Thank you, Braulio. Okay. Okay, Juan Carlos. Eh, ¿Me escucha? Yes. I can hear you. Eh, sería. Espera que me salió el mensaje justo de mí. El mensaje de Carlos. This sería. Espérame eh, aquí. A. Ah. ¿Mm? Sería. A is better. Better than. C. A is better than C. Just like that. A is better than C. El A es mejor que el C. Okay. Mm -hmm. A is better than C because the comparative form of good is better. Okay, so what about A? Voy a seguir con la segunda, pero voy a bajar la manita porque me queda justo ahí. Okay. A is the the worst. A is the worst. The worst. Sí. No, no. A is excellent. A is the best. Ah, A is the best. A is. Aha, and then the is the worst. D is the worst. Okay, there you go. El A es mejor que el C. El A es el mejor y el D, el... Uy, perdón, aquí está mal la letra. Sería D. Sorry about that. I see. Okay, D is the worst. There you go. I'm going to share this with you. Se lo voy a mandar también para que lo tengan ahí de referencia el ejercicio. Um, this time. Okay. Vaya, ¿qué nos queda de tarea? Bueno, practicar. Practiquemos esto, estudiemos bien las reglas. Ahorita no, ya son las 10 de la noche. Pero tal vez mañana en un chancecito que tengan, repasen esas reglas, por favor. Lo otro es, por favor, que vayan adelantando y que vayan resolviendo los ejercicios de la plataforma. Es sumamente importante que los vayan realizando. Ahí ven, en el... En el uh, En el grupo de chat de WhatsApp se lo recuerdan constantemente, ¿verdad? Por favor, vayan haciendo esto, vayan entregando. Así que procuren no atrasarse, ¿verdad? Bajo ninguna circunstancia porque eso después nos afecta mucho. Vamos a tomar control de asistencia. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. You hear? No. Okay. And René Giovanni Martinez Aguilar. Present teacher. Thank you, René. Okay. 
think that's it, everybody. De ahí todos los demás ya se presentaron. Okay. Um, tomorrow we'll have a review on superlatives and we're going to do more exercises, okay? More practice, more control practice. So everybody, um, thank you very much for paying attention. Thank you for your participation. Thank you for the effort. Gracias también por el esfuerzo. Okay, and um, I will see you tomorrow. Please work on the exercises on the platform. That's very important. Okay, good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Me quedé sordo después de eso. Okay. <laughs> bye bye.